So, in the pharmacokinetics, let me discuss about the distribution. Right, let me discuss about the distribution. Now, if you see this particular word distribution, remember, after the drug reaches the blood, right, it gets absorbed and then it reaches the blood. So, after the drug reaches the blood, it may be distributed to the various tissues. Now, the distribution of the drug is determined by a hypothetical parameter that is called as the volume of distribution. Okay, so a point what you should remember is after the drug enters into the blood, right, after the drug enters into the blood or reaches into the blood, this may be distributed to the various tissues. Right, this may be distributed to the various tissues. Now, a point what you need to remember here is the distribution of this drug, right, the distribution of this drug into the various tissues is determined by a hypothetical parameter that is called as the volume of distribution. Okay, so this distribution right, this distribution into the various tissues is determined by a right it is determined by a hypothetical parameter and what is that particular hypothetical parameter that is your volume of distribution right that is your volume of distribution all right so this volume of distribution it is given by vd right it is given by vd now a point what you need to remember here is remember it is the volume that would be required to contain the administered dose. That is, if the dose was evenly distributed at the concentration measured in the plasma. In the sense, the volume of distribution, it completely depends upon how much the drug has entered into the plasma. Okay, So, the volume of distribution of the drug depends upon how much of the drug has reached into the plasma right it is the more quantity of the drug enters into the plasma that is into the blood then volume of distribution also will be good if only minimal quantity of the drug enters into the plasma then minimal will be the volume of distribution all right next point you see another very important point here if the more amount of drug is entering into the tissues, it has higher volume of distribution. So, a point what you should remember is, if majority of the drug enters into the plasma, then volume of the distribution is good. In the sense, volume of distribution is also determined by how much amount of the drug is entering into the tissues from the plasma. Right? So, from the plasma, right, from the plasma, if more amount of drug is entering into the tissues right if more amount of drug is entering into tissues right if more amount of drug is entering into the tissues then it has higher volume of distribution right it has the higher volume of distribution the same thing is your vice versa what is that if less amount of drug entering into the tissues then less will be the volume of distribution so if more amount of drug entering into the tissues then higher is the volume of distribution if lesser amount of the drug is entering into the tissues lesser will be the volume of distribution next now, remember the volume of distribution of a particular drug, it depends upon certain factors or certain parameters. Now, for example, the drugs which are lipid soluble, 
they are more likely to cross the blood vessel wall and thus they have high volume of distribution all right so remember this point volume of distribution it depends upon the lipid solubility of the drug right volume of distribution depends upon the lipid solubility of the drug now a point what you should remember here is the drugs whichever are lipid soluble right the drugs which are lipid soluble they are more likely they are more likely to cross the blood vessel right they are more likely to cross the blood vessel wall all right and thus they have high volume of distribution right thus they have high volume of distribution all right so this is a very important point what you should remember next the other factor on which the volume of distribution depends is on the plasma protein binding capacity of that particular drug now so one factor the volume of distribution depends is on the lipid solubility of the drug next the other factor on which the volume of distribution of the drug depends is on the plasma protein binding capacity right plasma protein binding capacity of that particular drug now you see here now for example if a drug is highly bound to plasma proteins right that is the plasma protein binding capacity of the drug is very high now what are those particular drugs where the plasma protein binding capacity is very high now for example you take warfarin you take benzodiazepines you take furosemide you take calcium channel blockers you take digoxin these drugs they have very high plasma protein binding capacity so if the plasma protein binding capacity is very high like it will behave like a large molecule that means the entire drug is bound to the plasma proteins like your albumin and as well as globulin so once the drug is highly plasma protein binding the drug will stay within the plasma right the drug will stay within the plasma therefore less will go into the tissues resulting in reduced volume of distribution right this is a very very important point so volume of distribution depends upon the plasma protein binding capacity so if plasma protein binding capacity is high then the volume of distribution is less then the volume of distribution is less now let me tell you the examples of those drugs where the plasma protein binding capacity is very high so before that let me shortly revise what i have discussed until now so within the pharmacokinetics like we are trying to discuss about what is called as distribution remember after the drug reaches the blood it may be distributed to the various tissues and this is determined by a hypothetical parameter that is called as the volume of distribution and a point what you need to remember here is it is the volume that would be required to contain the administered dose if that dose was evenly distributed at the concentration measured in the plasma so what i mean to say is like if the drug which is entering into the plasma is more after getting absorbed then more will be the volume of distribution all right next if more amount of the drug right if more amount of the drug is entering into the tissues then it has the higher volume of distribution and as well as vice versa like if it is less amount of the drug entering into the tissues then it has lesser volume of distribution next the volume of distribution it depends upon certain factors one among that is your lipid solubility now remember drugs which are lipid soluble 
they are more likely to cross the blood vessel wall and they have higher volume of distribution and the volume of distribution it also depends upon the plasma protein binding capacity those drugs which are having high plasma protein binding capacity the volume of distribution is less now let me tell you what are those drugs which are having high plasma protein binding capacity